So today I'm going to get you up and running with PPSSPP through LaunchBox. So I'm going to show you how to download the actual standalone emulator rather than using the RetroArch core, which requires a bit more twiddling around. And this one's designed for beginners. So I'm also going to be going through video settings and getting you the very best results as well as importing your PSP games into LaunchBox, of course. So check this one out. Okay, so if you're new to my channel and you like what you see today, hit notifications and click subscribe so you can get content for LaunchBox, RetroBat, Batacera, RetroArch as I release it. So we're talking about PSP today and specifically the standalone emulator PPSSPP. And we're going to link this with LaunchBox, get you some cover art and just get you up and running. So let's get into this. What we're going to do first is download PPSSPP itself. And the link's in my description for this. So we've got two options. You've got the free version here, which is in the blue D-pad. And you can buy PPSSPP Gold, which gives you a few extra options. But for this, I'm going to just download the free version, which is the blue one just here and just close this one down and of course PPSSPP it's available on Android and if you're interested in that I released the other day an Android setup guide for this and it's also available for Linux, iOS and so on so what we're going to do is download a portable version of PPSSPP so portable just means it's all going to be put into a single folder rather than installing it to the computer if you want to install it to your computer rather than having a portable version just go up and download the install Installer just there. So I'm going to download the zip file for portable. And once you've downloaded this, you should download a zipped folder or a compressed zip folder. So just drag this onto the desktop and we can close this Windows browser down just here. And I'm going to create a new folder. So right click on desktop, new folder, and I'm going to just drag this one inside. So let's go in here and I right click. And I'm using WinRAR, as you can see. You might be using WinZip or 7-Zip, but they all work the same. So we're just going to extract the contents of this zipped folder. And we can now delete this, what we just downloaded. And this is everything. So what I'm going to do first here is actually open up the Windows 64 version. And as we can see, this is running through DirectX 11. So what I'm going to do first is just simply set this up. So I've got a few games on my desktop for my PSP. And here we go. So I've got Ridge Racer 2, Tekken 6, and Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins. And what I'm going to do first is just set this up. So I'm going to add a directory to this, and I'm going to go to Browse. And I'm going to navigate to find that PSP Games folder so we can link this up with this emulator. So I'm going to just go to Desktop, and PSP Games, and OK. And here we go. This is now fully loaded into the emulator itself. So now this is all up and running, what we're going to do is just go to settings and I need to make this into a full screen. So when we open this up with LaunchBox, it goes direct into a full screen. So let's just check this one here. And what I'm going to do is back out and just exit. So open up again and just make sure that full screen is done, which it is. Okay, so exit out. Next thing I'm going to do is open up LaunchBox, and this is the latest 13.6. I did a comprehensive guide on this the other day to get you up and running with the latest 13.6. So if you've not set it up yet, check that one out. All I'm going to do next is go to Tools. I'm going to go to Manage and Emulators. And once I'm in here, I'm going to go to Add. And what we're doing is looking for the exe file of that PPSSPP emulator that we just downloaded. So first of all, I'm going to just type in PPSSPP for the emulator name. And the application path is where we're going to search for that exe file. So we're going to go to desktop, which we're already on. And my PPSSPP is in my new folder just here. And what I'm going to do is just left click on this one here, the Windows 64, and just press open. And I'm going to press OK. And that's it. So close. 
Next, I'm going to do is go back to Tools again and Import and ROM Files. And this is going to bring up the wizard. So next, and my games are located inside of a folder on my desktop. So I'm going to go to Add Folder for this to import these games to LaunchBox. Go to Desktop. And from here, I'm going to just left click once on PSP games and select folder next. And what platform are you importing games for? So I'm going to just scroll this down and look for Sony PSP. And there we go. We're going to press next. Now, the next window you're going to see is automatically install and configure RetroArch. So we're not using that for this setup, guys. We're going to manually configure emulator because this is a different emulator to RetroArch, of course. So just click on that one, press next. And the next screen you're going to see, or rather the next window, is do we want to move our games to a different location? In this case, I'm going to just use these in their current location. So left click on there and press next. And the next part we got is downloading images, metadata for our games. So we can check none or check all or check none and just select a few different options here. Just remember, if you download everything in one go, it's going to take up a lot of space on your hard drive, possibly unnecessarily. But just for this setup guide, I'm going to check all and press next. And configure Emu Movies, you'll need to sign up for free with Emu Movies. And if you're using something like Big Box, that's going to get you videos, preview videos for your games. So I'm going to press next and next again. And here's our game. So it's ready to import Ridge Racer 2, Tekken 6, and Ultima Ghosts and Goblins. So I'm going to press finish. And as we can see at the top just here, it's now refreshing local metadata, which is now searching for artwork and bits and pieces of information for our games. Okay, and three games were imported successfully. What I'm going to do first is just double left click on Ridge Racer 2 and see if this boots up in full screen. And there you go. Three, two, one, go! So that's all working fine as we can see and what I've just done here is press my trigger and that's brought us into the settings menu for PPSSPP and what I'm going to do next is just show you some settings we can do on this. It looks good as it is considering this is originally a portable game but if we go to settings we can make this look so much better but just be prepared to face some lag if you're running a lower end computer. So uh, a lot of these options, it's going to be just applicable for those running better spec computers. So uh, V-Sync, we're going to want to put to on. This is going to reduce a lot of screen tear. And if we just go down a little bit further to upscale level, which is under texture scaling, we can boost this up to five times and that's really gonna upscale textures. It's gonna give textures in our games much more definition. So like I say just a second ago, if you've got a lower end computer and you want to boost this up to say five times, just expect there to be a lot of lag. I'm going to just put this to two times. And regardless, even if you can get this to two times alone, it's still a massive improvement. So I'm going to set two times. Anastrophic filter in this one was already on 16 times. My computer is a gaming laptop and it can handle it, but just like the other option, if you've got a lower end system, then don't attempt to go to 16 times because you will find a lot of lag happening. So I'm going to leave this one on 16. I'm going to add some texture filtering and I'm going to use nearest on this one. 
And we've also got under texture scaling upscale type. So by default, this one's on times BRZ, but you can experiment with bicubic and hybrid. I'm gonna just put this one onto bicubic. And if we scroll right to the top, we're gonna to see render resolution. And this is where you can really make your PSB games look amazing. So render and resolution, it's on auto one by one at the moment. We can go up to 4K and beyond with this. But like I say, and I stress this, if you have got a mid range even computer, it's likely gonna lag for you. But even, you know, even if I put this to 1080p, that's still a massive improvement. So let's back out of here. And you are the man. Woo! That's amazing. Yeah, it's a new record. Two left to go. Not even a chuck. So I'm going to go back to settings again, and I'm going to attempt to bump render resolution up to, say, 4K. And we're going to see if my computer, which is the RTX 3050 GPU, and I'm using an i7 11th gen processor with 16 gigabyte of RAM, I'm going to see if this laptop of mine can handle this resolution. So <laughs> So as we can see, that looks awesome. And uh, what I'm going to do next is take you over to another game which I've just imported and beef up some graphic settings on that too. So I'm going to go back to my menu and just exit to menu and exit again. This is going to take us back to Launchbox. I'm going to show off Ghosts and Goblins. This is a classic. Just open this one up. And again, if we go to the menu for this game starts, go to settings. So if we get back into this menu, as we can see, all these settings are already back in place. So we don't need to do anything. But one thing I'm going to do is actually upscale this. As we could see just a minute ago, Ridge Racer 2 works fine for me in 4K. So I'm going to bump this up to four times and see how this performs. And it does give you a warning at the bottom, CPU heavy. So if you should get that warning, then it's likely your computer might not be able to handle it. <laughs> Yes, this is a very hard game based on the classic arcade. So let's just back out of this as we see everything's running fine. And I'm going to just test out next my Tekken 6 game. <laughs> Round one. Fight! <laughs> And this is performing really well for me. So if this happens to you again, of course, go to settings and just play around with the video settings. Obviously, this is running fine for me on eight times. I'm going to bump this up to ten times. Round one. 
it from my launchbox PPSS PP setup guide today like I said at the start I do cover launchbox a lot so check out my playlist for launchbox and also hit notifications and subscribe if you like this video today you do get the content as I upload it onto my channel and it helps me out a lot too so also check me out on social media I'm on Facebook Twitter Instagram and TikTok but until next time stay retro